Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the City of Alex World Detention Center. So this is a very massive jail complex. It's almost as big as the entire City of Melchizedek jail system. But don't worry, this tour will not take long. We're going to go through it as quick as possible because I know you're tired of jail building tours. So in here is the receiving area. Inmates are booked in right here where officers would, you know, take a log of what the inmates are arrested for. Anytime an inmate's not compliant with the process, there are these tanks that they can go in along the way. If they are compliant, then they'll be moved in here. The first thing is to get a mug shot. Here's a camera for a mug shot. All right, so once the mugshot is taken, they'll usually be escorted over here. Fingerprinting, identification. Here is where they'll be dressed out. They're required to take a shower, undergo strip search, cavity search. They'll be provided a uniform. Here is where they will talk to classification, see which ward they belong into, inmate property, excuse me, normally they come over here before they go in the showers. This is where property is confiscated. Back here is all medical and psychiatry. So they will speak to medical. This also further plays into the classification process. If at any time an inmate is extremely uncooperative, they will be placed in these small holding cells on the back hallway. Once an inmate is successfully booked into jail, then they will typically be taken upstairs. If they receive a bond and don't have to go upstairs, great. If they do, then they end up deeper in the process. Yes, it's a lot of doors to go through. So here are where in inmates are held until they are placed on a housing unit. They usually can only be held in these rooms. These are cells, but they're only supposed to be here for about 12 hours, no greater than. It's the same rooms that are upstairs. So once you go through these doors, you are being taken to a housing unit. Here are where a lot of programs will take place. They will typically take place in these classrooms. There's usually about eight of them on every floor. Keep in mind that the cell blocks are in stack configuration, so while there may be eight here, there's also eight more that may belong to the same group of four pods. They're different programs. So this is a linear style jail. All the 
inmates are kept in these cells behind these walls of glass. Here will be the day room. Now let's take a look at a typical cell. So each cell is meant to house three inmates. Uh, then at the end of the hall are showers. Also a restroom for the day room. And an indoor rec area. Every single pod has a small indoor recreation area attached. There are only two outdoor rec yards and inmates will visit those three times a week for one hour a day. Unless you're in solitary confinement, which this is considered to be a medium and maximum supervi um, not supervision, security jail. So the lower levels are reserved for low risk inmates and high risk inmates are usually kept at the top levels of the jail. Even though the entire jail is relatively the same as far as the design, the higher you are in the jail, which by the way, all of these windows you see right here are actually cells. So going across, you have nine windows. Uh, then going vertical, you have 16. So I want you to imagine that across this right here, times four, because you have the same thing over here, uh, then there's another ring over there with pretty much the exact same thing, the same setup across the four wings of the jail. So that means, and I'm using a calculator, so that's 144 cells times four wings, 576 cells. Each cell holds three people, 1,728 inmates. So a little bit larger than the city of Melchizedek Detention Center, but not as large as the West Jail. The West Jail in that jail is actually pretty large. It holds 5,000 inmates. The city of Alex World has a smaller jail. It only holds about 63 people, and that jail is mainly for the purposes of holding non-violent inmates. It's temporary accommodation. They won't go to the big city jail. On the second floor is inmate visitation, inmate services, jail administration. So this is a visitation, glass visitation. And then inmates are on the other side. Through here is where the inmate kitchen is, programming, and down there is a laundry. Here is the jail library. So all of the volume, most of these are law books. So if an inmate wants to do research on their case, they can right there. The books are brought to the inmate cell, has to be returned. When an inmate is finally released, either they got bailed out or they're simply released, they come here and they reclaim their property. Once they reclaim their property, they're released, they are free to go. They walk through this beautiful atrium, too beautiful for jail, and then out into the jail parking lot and back into the free world. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for accommodating us on this tour.